It's the leader. He's the wizard. He's forcing the mouth open. Well, stop him. Kill him or something. My dagger is gone. You kill him. Not me. It's bad luck to kill a wizard. Wait. There's a better way to take care of a wizard. Hello, all you initiates. How are you guys doing today? Got an episode here. We're talking... Again, uh, last few episodes, <laughs> we're all kind of talking our local group. I feel like this is aimed at uh, you know, probably the 10 people that are going to come to this event, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, it's a cool take on old school, uh, on our mono green. This will be our third uh, mono green event that we're, we're doing. Uh, got a lot of unique rules, and hopefully you guys find this interesting. Um, got Ron with us tonight, Mr. Jason, and we'll talk a little bit about how drafts have been going and uh, the upcoming event. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, nothing else, maybe uh, do something similar with your group. I always hope we inspire someone to do these fun things. Uh, hope you enjoy. We gather around the table so grand, decks in hand, plans so grand. But there's one card that stands alone. Spinning slugs in a class of its own Battle rages to unleash the beast Upon its dreams come to a cease Every game we play our anthem song Only play the mighty spitting slug Spitting slug, spitting slug it's the card we love and hug. No other stands up to the task. Spitting slug, no questions asked. We drink our meat from the dirty mug till we vomit like the spitting slug. See this 200 part deck. It has 150 slugs. What the heck? Spitting. Uh, all right, well, hey, we got uh, a new co-host tonight. So, yeah, with Jason, not uh, he's traveling with Dave Matthews Band, I guess. Uh, him and his wife are going to several of their shows or something. They're oh, gonna, really? Like, okay, right on. Yeah. I was wondering kinda. what the show was, and then he showed that poster, and I was like, I, I see, which yeah, was, was a sick poster. Grateful Dad, but yeah, it's actually uh, Dave Matthews or whatever. So, yeah, I guess they, he's out tonight, and I think they have a cabin, and they're actually doing a little vacation. So we got an upgrade. Screw Jason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll so, do my best to be Jason. Yeah. Hi, right, man. You've been uh, you're our, probably the the most recent addition uh, uh, to our little group here. I forget how'd you even find us. I don't remember how you. Uh, man, I just started looking around on the internet. I think I found your like Instagram page or something. I'm not on Facebook very much, and uh, I don't know how it didn't. It didn't register to me that you were in Cincinnati at first, and I was just like, oh, cool, old school magic shit. People all turn cards and look like they're having fun. And then I saw. Uh oh, we cut out. Like, <laughs> frozen. Oh, that might be. Am I coming back? Yeah, you're coming back. Okay. Damn, man. I hope that's not going to happen a bunch. Well, our caliber is not real high on this podcast. That's all right if it is. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I've had just, some internet. Every time issues. something really important happens, just cut out. We'll just, yeah, yeah. I think I just found you online, and it seemed cool. So I, you know, I begged you to let me hang out with you guys, basically, uh, and it worked. Dude, I'm glad you did. Seriously, yeah, because you're a good addition to our group chat of bullshit, and uh, there's <laughs> yeah, a lot of people that are just quiet in there. It's almost annoying. Like, why? Why don't yeah. you guys jump in once in a while? So yeah, uh, it's good. To have I feel like work. maybe I'm too much. I love. I'll no, uh, I'll shoot the half. shit about magic all the time. Yeah. I love that shit. Half that's not even about magic. It's about leprechaun dick yeah. or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, whatever. I'll yeah. <laughs> You fit right in pretty quick, so yeah. we're, we're glad to have you. And now you get to uh, 
podcast a little bit. Um, yeah, you're my you're my type of crew for sure. So it's good to have friends, you know. What's you gotta, your what's you your magic travel. background? I don't know if I've talked to you about like how you got started and when you started, when you quit, when you sold all your stuff, when you got back. Everybody uh, does that. I assume yeah. you did. Yeah. <laughs> I you know, I played a little bit when I was younger. I didn't I'm I, you know, we talked a little bit about skateboarding. I kind of got into skateboarding when I was 11 or 12, which is either that's your forking paths, right? It's like something like skateboarding or something like magic and, or both, I guess sometimes, but I was, I pretty much looked at every curve and just thought about that shit all day long, but I played a little bit when I was younger and then I didn't get into, uh, I didn't start playing regularly again, really until my, um, late twenties really. And then I played, I, I talked to Eric about this a little bit. I played like standard for a while and I played legacy for a while. Um, not really that seriously. And then played modern for, I'll still play, like I have pauper decks and shit that I'll, I'll play commander with my son and his friends and stuff, but old school, there's just, it's just better. So I didn't start playing old school until probably about a year ago or something like that. And you probably weren't slinging uh you weren't like jason open or buys boxes or anything i guess no back in the day yeah we weren't either i mean i started yeah. nice age so i didn't really get to yeah uh, never had the chance to to play with all this cool stuff so yeah um, that I did kind like, of get lucky it was sort of nostalgic for me because that would have been like the time i was in high school then right like so when i see revised it like conjures up these you know memories for me but i didn't really i you know I'll recognize a force in nature or sing your vampire forever, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was all this stuff I wanted to do and never could. And, uh, and then I, I, I got lucky cause I just started collecting, uh, like I collected an entire set of legends just cause it was cool and bought shit cheap and yeah. Arabian nights. And I like, I got a bunch Before of school, dirt Before. cheap. Yeah. It was just, it was just fun to be ago. the guy with the, Jews have been commander or whatever. And yeah, sure. I got real lucky there, but I only got one of everything because I was playing commander and didn't get four, which would have been way better. That, that would have been yeah. the smart play, but I got, yeah. I got one of all these things cheap, anyhow. So. But yeah, no, I, I, I mean, you, you see how life is. Everybody's super busy and it's nice to be able to just jump in and out of old school. The cards are always the same and then we yeah. always change it. We're always doing yeah. something new. Yeah, I like, I mean, that's a good seg into the uh, Concordant Crossroads, probably, because it's a real fun way to jazz up the the metagame, you know, in, like, pretty fucked up ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you, you haven't been to the last, so we, do we do this twice now in the woods? This, or just... I, think, I think we say this no, is the... speed, but this is number four, I think. Well, no, so the first Concordant Cross was, like, a mono green, we just did that bar, right? Yeah. And then I think we did one in the woods and then this one. I don't think I think we only ever had one out in the woods before. Yeah. So behind my house, I got like I got seven acres here with a pond and a bunch of woods. Oh, and, right on. Cool. Um I just took some old logs one day and just chopped them up and made like tables and chairs and stuff in the woods. And then we all went out there and drank beer and shot bow and arrows and had a pretty good time. So I was like, amazing. we gotta do that again. So yeah. it's time for Concordant Crossroad three. What do we call it? Day is it's Day is Pride. That. No, something about gay as uh, like the cult of gay or something. Yeah. G Day, <laughs> gay is gathering. That's yeah. what it's called. It's yeah, like yeah. G Day. It's G Day. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. And I doubt I'm, many people listening to this podcast are going to show up. But if you want, you can. It's July 5th. Uh, I figure a lot of people aren't working that day. So yeah, um, it's a random Friday. And uh, hit me up. Or you can, I can give you some directions. I'm about 30 minutes outside of Cincinnati. So a little bit south. So but, we, we always uh, do mono green for like for St. Patrick's Day and this. I think it's because like everyone likes mono green. You know, people are like biased on blue and black and white. Yeah. But like everyone loves green. I don't know any yeah. magic player that like does it like yeah. green. Well, yeah, green's more fun when everyone's either. playing green because you, you want to go just smash your force of nature into something and it just keeps countered and millstone yeah. white or whatever. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah green sucks. So yeah. yeah, when everyone's on the same game, it's even better. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You get to actually like ramp and land shit. It's pretty, pretty cool. All right, I hope so, at least. 
I was on nice vacation day, last week and what I tried to snorkel at these supposedly cool rocks. Man, it tore me. I was bleeding so much. Like yeah. every time I turn around, they're like, you bleeding again? I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's uh, another rock. So I'm sitting here like my whole ankle's bleeding now. I shouldn't have been messing with it. But uh I gotta see if I can find this stupid picture of me flying. That was a pretty good one too. Um, yeah, the, the flight card that is it just yeah, I might have to share these here in a second, but so anyhow, yeah, we're we're back from back from vacation and uh back into magic. So we definitely need to get together and figure out a draft night again because I'm my my draft deck is rough, man. I'm in bad shape. Uh, Eric's pretty strong. I forget. Uh, yeah, Eric's deck I, is awesome. Yeah, I mean, Jason's is better, but mine is the second best, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah where, where you at? Your, your deck isn't too bad right now, is it? Or, it's okay. You... I, I took it down to two colors, and it was because I, I definitely, I mean, I would say that I had one of the worst decks for sure the first night, and it got a lot better when we started drafting uh, Arabian Nights and stuff. So this was oh, probably yeah, there we... before. This was yeah. here before, right? Yeah, that was first. Got my sick butterfly knife. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was the first one. You can see it was just all over the place. Like my rare I opened was like Thought Lace, and I was trying to keep That's... four <laughs> colors in there. <laughs> um, and then let's see, do we have a step up of the after? Yeah, because after we, we had the pre release of Arabian Nights and Legends, yeah, things yeah. did get better for most people. Not me, but yeah. Um, let me see. Is this? Oh, yeah. That's my. That's a pretty sloppy pick, but that's it. Is this your deck here? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So I cut it down better. to red black, and I got that uh, Kelden Warlord. And uh, some, I think Patrick was like, "Hey, you should take this Cormus Bell when we were trading." And Cormus Bell with Kelden Warlord having a bunch of swamps is the shit. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. That's kind of lethal, right? You just sort yeah. of. <laughs> yeah, it kind of happened by chance, but I was like, damn, I got that Aladdin's Lamp in there. I've never cast it. I don't think I've had 10 mana out. Not a one time, but. But you got to live the dream, you know? You might play yeah. me. Dude, yeah, yeah. Your, deck, that's right. your deck's clo so close to being so strong. Yeah, it could, It needs like a couple. Cards. Yeah, it's close. Yeah, it could be, it could hopefully next round, like I'll probably put some bigger threats in it and maybe take out some of the kind of like wonky, not great creature. I mean, I would love to build like troll disc, a some kind of troll disc out of it, but. Dude, your deck is really, it's looking super good. It got a lot more fun to play when it's like the mana base is consistent. But even though that's part of the gig, right? Is like everybody's mana base sucks that first night. So everyone's just like like playing like stalled out games and being like, oh, I'm winning with a grizzly bear or whatever. Yeah. You that fucking uh the dragon whelp with the spirit link on it though, you put that together first night and that shit is nuts, man. Yeah, you got double tear now though. <laughs> yeah, fireball, so I think you could get rid of that now. Yeah, maybe now, but yeah, I didn't day, have any really. day one. That was I was racking up the wins with that for sure. Yeah, that's a killer combo. I mean, yeah, yeah it's was, it's really fun though. Dude, your deck is really good. Don't I feel so? You and Jason are the only ones with fireballs, and you guys both have more than one. Yeah. Oh, is that yeah. true? I thought there were a shit ton floating around. He wanted to disintegrate off me and Ante like wow. Like second game we played. Like I won like a I won like a forest off of him the first game and then he got the disintegrate the second game and I was like, "Damn, man." And you have Drain Life and Out from Beyond, which are essentially like more fireballs, which are so good cuz like this format is not fast. No, it's yeah. Yeah, you get a lot With of mana. Your generators, you can stall the game out for a while. Your deck is looking really good. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's still I can't I I mean I can't I can't put a dent in yours and uh but it's like half and half. My wins are like half and half now. I was getting stomped that first night. Yeah, there's some good there's uh is this your deck here now, Eric? This is what you got. Yeah. Three Kurt Apes. Three. It's good, but I only have like five forest, so I need to get more forest for it to be better. But yeah, it's, it's... oh yeah, and you had the land tax lands edge combo, which you crushed yeah. somebody with. That's <laughs> yeah. right. There's a few ivory towers floating around that I've been trying to get to. 
But I, I'm not. I'm actually building another deck right now. I'm building a twelve, and all the a twelve stuffs on the side. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, that'll be the next one. Yeah. So we'll have uh, antiquities in the dark released next time. So. Oh yeah. That'll be a tog and. Oh yeah, antiquities and stuff. Bugs gonna be awesome. Yeah, I've been. I'm slow. It's the. It's gonna go. I think I'm gonna s trade the white cards. So I'll have insane white trades like land tax and spirit link. For trade oh, and then try to yeah, get the light bolts. You probably my wombat deck. I need oh spirit link on the wombat would be good. Yes. And land tax yeah. if you're gonna play enchantress, right? Yeah, See, land tax. I, I'd never really seen land tax in in action, especially in like a draft format. It's a beast of a card. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's so insane. Nasty. If you get that with like ivory tower, it's just game, dude. Because like you're just yeah. it's it's yeah, land tax is the card. It gets destroyed with this enchant, so it's not too great in Eternal Central, but yeah, it's still pretty yeah, good. It's still... Yeah, so yeah, I mean, I basically lost a lot of stuff. Um, Your deck sucks, dude. My deck is rough. I got two balances. That's oh, cool. Shit. No, that's, that's it. Big. I got two oh, balances. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't you see have those come out. You've got double lure, so you're trying to build enchantress, but you only have one enchantress, right? Yeah, I got one enchantress, I got one wombat, two basilisk lure, a couple lure. Yeah, yeah. Lure basilisk, hey, it's coming together. Dude. Yeah, it I should. Think but... I think you're close there, really. I think everyone's getting closer. Well, yeah. I went to two color instead of three, and I think that was a mistake. It was too early to go two color. And I was, I mean, it got to the point I was playing mountains because I ran out of cards. I didn't, I'm, this is every green and white card I own. Yeah. <laughs> every green and white. And by the end of the night, I had lost some stuff, and I was just putting mountains in to get back to 60 cards. I lost so much. So, yeah, there, there's hope. I just need to crack some more packs. So, I'm looking forward to the next uh, get together. Yeah, you got some Ron has. You have Korma's Bell, so you want more swamps. But I think if you don't play Korma's Bell, you want to play three colors. Yeah. You get rid of, like, I mean, you should probably not be playing Wall of Wood. You know what I mean? Like, that's a real bad card. So, like, you cut some of that stuff out. Yeah. Splash. You think, I'm, like, seeing, are, so are we going to put the Ebon Power cards? Is that part of the draft? There's a Still, way to get it'll be a little bit later. It won't be next time okay. yet, but we're, we're getting there. Because, like, I, I kind of feel like I got to play blue. When did I you know they're coming? Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, it just, I just would hate to miss that. You know, there's some fun, fun shit. Well, in there. I haven't had time. I'm trying to come up with a contract from above that's a white card. Oh, cool. <laughs> Or just two Phyrexian mana or something. I don't know because contract is amazing. There's yeah. what, one out there now, and yeah, yeah and, uh, what Jason got? Of the course, contract? Jason has. Yeah, of course, yeah. Jason has it. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, he might lose it. Yeah, it could happen. That's what happens mm -hmm. to the contract. But yeah. uh, so we'll see. And then um, let's see. I think our next. So everyone got a jeweled bird. I actually had two jeweled birds and lost them both. <laughs> so I, I won one, one and then lost both of those. Yeah, I won so one. Out of jeweled one. birds again. Uh, I'm trying yeah. to get four, a place out of four for a talk. I've got two right uh, now. Yeah, cool, yeah, all the little artifacts. I, I mean, antiquities isn't out yet, so it's hard to gather up the artifacts. But yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I pulled it up. I'll circle back here real quick. So this this photographer guy was like, "All right, everyone, jump, and we'll take a picture on three. Yeah. For whatever reason, I'm like, I got a vertical like freaking Jordan over here. Yeah, yeah. Everyone else is on the ground. I don't even have a yeah. shadow. I keep looking at it, like, why don't I have a shadow? Like, I'm so. Yeah, <laughs> like maybe just... you maybe you photoshopped that before Jason got to it. Like maybe you wanted to flex was... on everyone with your jump or something. That was actually my point. I'm like, it almost looks photoshopped. Everything's too yeah. nice down there with the actual ocean behind you and stuff. Yeah, true. So then I got this sent to me from jason <laughs> yeah uh that's me on flight yeah that's pretty nice uh, and then he tried to photoshop this is where it wouldn't get her arm out and it made it into a boat and put a little flag on it <laughs> <laughs> that's good <laughs> Which I thought that was pretty awesome yeah so i guess it's just her arm there yeah <laughs> hey i couldn't figure out what that was yeah that's funny all right well so to stay on theme of being all over the place, I think that kind of recaps the draft. We'll 
we'll circle back on next time around. Um, as far as the yeah, the the Evan Power, uh, that came in. I got a, I had two misprints. The freaking uh, Black Lotus doesn't say it's missing a word, like opponents or something like that. It was missing one word, so I got a big stack of lotuses, and then the freaking uh, the twister. It says add it to your ante, and then it says put it in your second in your graveyard. It says both. <laughs> Yeah. So, like, are you putting it in the ante or are you putting it in the graveyard? So I had to reorder those two. Um, that one didn't to... seem like a, that one seemed fine to me because you start a separate graveyard and then it's like as an additional cost, you have to add it to ante. So then you just like move it to ante. So, yeah, it was, it was confusing. I just took the put it in a second graveyard thing out or whatever. And just, yeah. So I just erased it. Anyhow, they've been ordered. So then we'll have all those, but uh, where do you, where do you get those printed at? Is that a pretty easy situation? Like what's turn? Yeah, I use a uh, make playing cards.com. Okay. And you put in a front and a back image and they basically, I mean, they won't let you print like magic backs. You have something different, yeah. you know, but they're, they're pretty cool. It seems like they do a lot of that kind of, yeah. you know, the random stuff that we make is usually I can usually crank it out over there pretty quick and then a couple of weeks and they'll have them back. They owe you so. 50 bucks for plugging them in this episode, by the way. Well, they should. Yeah, man. Come on, hook me up, fellas. <laughs> Let alone my typos. Uh, yes. Yeah. All kinds of business. Go back. And like, Son of a bitch. But Patrick, he's like a legal writer for, you know, that's yeah, what he does yeah. for a living. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I read contract. Like, yeah, I saw yeah. all that instantly. I'm like, all right, you got to read all these freaking things the next time around. But so that would give us all. So we, yeah, we made the blue mocks and then the time walk, the ancestral and the twister. So, um, I think I'm running low on one of them. I forget the green, the green mocks. I'm having a hard time finding. I don't know where those are at, but yeah, you know, they're getting in short supply, but, uh, so we'll, we'll introduce those at some point here. Okay. Hey, real quick before we go on to mono green or whatever um so so that we don't run out of sets that are released into the draft i've been gathering up my uh branching paths cards can we also add like a whole event where we just get branching paths packs oh, man, i just got I two full sets there. of branching paths this week so when i got back from vacation they were here i think yeah, i haven't yeah. even cracked the plastic i think they're white bordered this time which is cool oh that's yeah cool. Yeah, that's is that what they did. Is that that cool. was supposed to be the new set, I think. I haven't, I didn't, I didn't order the first one though. That's cool. So we'll, yeah, that's cool. So that will, and then I guess if we wanted to, we could do like the final event is like we had alliances or something random. I don't know. Yeah. I yeah, guess I mean, that's the last event should be spectral chaos. I don't know if you're familiar with that. No. Uh. Uh-uh. This uh, this dude he's like called the misprint guy on YouTube. He actually lives in Cincinnati, but he went to like a game developer's house and they had an unreleased set of Magic called Spectral Chaos, and he bought it off of them. And then these guys made a set, and it's like the craziest cards. Like spend eight mana, both players gain a hundred life, or like oh, both really? players draw ten cards for three mana. Yeah, like a one mana three three, just the craziest shit. Um. A, a green dark yeah, he didn't, that adds he, three white and like oh, that's wild. Sick. <laughs> yeah, they are they're white bordered this time. Oh, that's sick. Mold ones are black bordered. Those yeah. are cool. So, oh, can I see a land? Show me what an island looks like. Those look so yeah, because I, I I use their basics all the time. I know the lands are the coolest part. So yeah, the story's a little crazy in that, Eric. He actually um that guy helped Garfield develop the game. I forget his name. Gosh, I should know it. But um he went to his house and said he would help him clean his garage. So he really just went there to help the guy clean up. And there was a box that had that spectral chaos. He's like, yeah, that was a set we, we never released. And he's like, can I have it? And he just gave it to him for helping him clean out his garage. Oh, shit. So he didn't pay for it. He But he, like, hunted this guy down, and he was one of the original developers. Now, a lot of the stuff in that set you can see like similarities that popped up in other things. You know, they, they took the ideas or whatever, but yeah, there's um, cards in there that like are cards that are that exist today. But then there's also like 500 really insane cards that they should never have made. There's a, there's so many cards that are just like turn one kill infinite combos and stuff. It's a card sort of, yeah, a lot of half half mana and like the the fifth color. It is cool stuff. I don't know. Yeah, but it's a Yeah, they he didn't the, the dual lands aren't in here this time. Man. Ooh. 
And the basics, I don't think, are in here. This is a whole different oh, run. Shoot. This is the first. I just cracked it open. They look cool on white border, but I, yeah, I've got the black bordered originals and I got some white border. So, yeah, we'll definitely be adding. Bridging Pass is, is actually a cool just addition, and it, it's not that busted, and it just helps finish out some stuff. It, it's a cool, like, I wish this was part of old school, honestly. Yeah. So, yeah, I've got two sets of that for us to uh, to draft with. Oh, that's Way cool. Now. That's cool. That'd be real cool. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone's the decks are getting lethal, dude. My deck, I've gotten my, some good wins in, but I think the, my winning streak's about to end. A few of you guys just need a few more cards, and then I'm not going to be as good. You guys, well, I think eh. someone said, you know, the, the losers are falling so far behind, they're going to start, you know, when you catch in a lost card, you also get a pack. And that'll be huge, just to get oh, a pack yeah. or something. Yeah. And, That'll get you back in. You get you some trade stuff and everything. Yeah, even cashing in, cashing in losses for me that last time helped. I mean, I score. I don't even remember what I grabbed, but it was something good. We're about to make losses even better. That was like we after we yeah. left, we were all standing outside debating on how we're going to make it more fair for people to catch up. Yeah. So you're going to get like double loss prizes now. Yeah, that I makes sense. I might have gotten four whir whirling dervish and threw those in there too to stop all this black nonsense because okay. black's a little out of control. <laughs> the Korok should not be out yet. It's like it's literally the time walking event. Why is yeah. he Korok in this shit? Yeah, I grabbed where did, him. Where did that come from? Oh, because yeah, because you could buy the uh, Fallen yeah, Empires back Fall three Empires bucks. From Jason. Dude, there's yeah. two hymns. Yeah, oh, I, I grabbed a him and like I was like I felt even guilty grabbing the him but i was like you know what like i'm gonna get some anti cards and it'll That's make right. my dad better <laughs> it's so good yeah like, him dude i mean i'll i got a lot of copies of him in binders because i'm just like yeah i'll buy four more hymns you know well it's kind of like so in the like lore of the ebon hand like their god is torok oh okay yeah, so it's it's like sticks with our theme. So we were supposed to love it. I personally fucking hate the card. Dude. Yeah, you I, don't play black. I was surprised to hear that because like uh, yeah. I just you know I know you like you like like a uh, dungeon synth and metal and shit like that. But yeah, I yeah. guess it's not like a you don't have to green. It's just as like dungeon synthy really. But I play weird green. I play weird black decks where I play like lesser werewolf and the podcast that people have heard. But yeah, I play. I mean, I do play black. Yeah. <laughs> play the weird black cards yeah so cool what do you guys want to talk battle for concordant crossroad three let's do it special guest the cult of gaia, <laughs> <laughs> the cult of gaia is joining us gaia's liege is uh stepping in yeah and that's like a sexy cult. guy's liege there he's like cleaned up and a little bit younger yeah he's pretty clean he just took a shower didn't he he's like going on a date. yeah he lost his horns. He's like, I'm I'm done with those. Yeah, so yeah this was his, this was his driver's license picture. You know, it was like a long yeah. time ago. You're like, oh, <laughs> no, this is his LinkedIn photo. His other photo <laughs> is like his. <laughs> his other photo good. is like fucking party time Instagram. Sorry, I was supposed to yeah. give you that I've, with the podcast. I had to do some gardening and things. Oh, um, that's all right, dude. Yeah, I'm same thing. I'm gonna try and get that. So. Brian, my wife has uh, been working with that patch embroidery machine, and we're I'm gonna try to get patches for Concordant Crossroads, but I've never digitized something for an embroidery machine, so it might take me a minute. I'm like surrounded by designers and people who can do that stuff at work, but I have to really like not make them do not work stuff or ask them, you know. Well, depending depending on what it is, we might be able to help you. Eric and I are pretty good at. Yeah, shop and a lot of that kind of stuff. I don't know. I got a laser yeah. etcher. I need to get built so I can do that too. But yeah, that'd be cool, man. That'd be awesome to be able to yeah, do custom fine. patches. Yeah. We, that's kind of the thing. I got a bunch of them. I don't really have like the denim jackets. I'm going to start hanging them here in my office. I got a bunch of cool patches. So yeah. I need to start accumulating them somewhere. What do you want to you want to go over the rules, Eric, of uh, how this, this event's going to work? Sure. So. Mono green and artifacts are the only thing that's allowed. Um, the own this time though with the cult of Gaia, they are blessing us with uh, with some exceptions. And yeah, so it's it's also Alpha Three Alliances. 
Yeah, true. Okay, I'll put through that. Um, There's a lot yeah. of good green cards actually added in there. Um, so all the other colors are banned, but you're welcome to get as many blessings from the cult of Gaia as you want. Um, but each blessing you take is 10 additional cards in your deck. So I guess do we just go through all the blessings there. The, the blessings are emblems like you get in like from like a planeswalker or something. Basically, you can't destroy them. They're not artifacts. There's no way to destroy them. Yeah, so the first one's free. You, know, you get one and play a 60 card deck. You're going to just do that. And then I think there's 10 total. So if you wanted, you could add 90 cards to your deck and you ran them all. <laughs> Which would be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. I think it's, it's like playing Battle of Wits practically. Yeah. So I, I think these are alphabetical. We can just start at the, the beginning. Um, the Blessing of Decay so it allows you to play up to 10 black cards in your deck and you start the game with 15 life so this this is the best one by the way you think i'm not playing i don't think uh yeah. i was i was real close but like the 15 life thing kind of scares me because people will be playing fast decks yeah dude but you know what stops black de really fast decks and uh this entire format yeah it's fucking abyss Oh yeah, sure. dude! It brings the blessing of decay yeah. of this deck. Sure, that's the best deck in the format. Yeah. So yeah, that, that, with hippies comes a ton of trouble. Okay, the guy's leech hippie call sucks, dude. So they're bringing a little <laughs> bit of a bit in. And it, yeah, if, if abyss. Would, yeah, you're right. Abyss would be fucking. You cool. get abyss. You get uh, demonic tutor. You get mind twist. Tutors. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, tutors really strong in this. Yeah. So, I mean, mind twist is good too but like if somebody's playing a howl like it kind of okay yeah so yeah that's some of these other stuff will counteract a little bit of that which is good yeah. baby um so yeah i mean that's that's a pretty strong one but yeah it's got a drawback losing five life to start um blessing up fire you can run 10 red cards in your deck but you cannot play red and green card in the same turn, and you cannot have red and green mana in your mana pool at the same time. That last part is a big deal, but yeah, <laughs> I, I, we, we debated it for a while. I'm like, wait, I can't play Stang, I can't play Jocko Vert, and he's like, hey, you also can't play Stormbind, and you know, you can't channel Fireball, you can't do all that yeah. crap. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, yeah. You know, I mean, it does cut out a bunch of. Uh, uh, what's that like has is on you can't play I and mean, a lot of the legends you just can't play because the only way you yeah. would get them would have this but then you can't have red and green mana at the same time i think also a big problem is like best style fury and bloodlust in berserk decks so you can't like bloodlust a scrib sprite and then berserk it for 10 because it's a yeah red green. yeah so it keeps you from kind of like going too fast and like yeah. red earnum and burnum is like a tier one deck like you play earnum yeah. and play some fucking land of war elves and stone rains and lightning bolts like that deck is scary as shit yeah so sure. you can play it but you're not going to play lightning bolt the same turn you play an earnum or whatever yeah yeah and fireball is pretty garbage because you're only going to have so many red you know yeah isn't earthquake like the Fucking like earthquake, and these creature removal spells are so nasty. Yeah, but awful. you can't use green mana to cast yeah, earthquake. Nah, but you only need earthquake for like maybe four if they have a lot of spitting slugs. But you only need earthquake for yeah, like. So I, mean, you, so, I mean, I guess if you're running all the colors, then you can have type your white uh, and blue you and all that. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're running yeah. the five color. Or maybe you lose your maybe you lose your drawback there. Wait, is, when the when you can randomly discard two, if you play Prismatic Master and you can randomly discard two or get rid of two yeah. drawbacks, like, are these two drawbacks on the same card here, or is this the same one? Oh yeah, no, this would, it would just be one of the cards. So you, okay. yeah, so to yeah, you know, we'll get to that one, but yeah, so if you uh, you just roll a dice basically and you pick two of your blessings that you you don't have the drawbacks on, so but it is random. So you don't know what you're gonna get, you know. Yeah. Um, Dude, that artwork is perfect. It's like literally guy is leads like holding fire. Yeah, it's sick. <laughs> it's not yeah, hard, I was but... I was literally sick this day too. I came back from vacation and I had like a 
flu thing going on. I felt like crap, and I just came in here and started making these things. I wasn't going to make them. I'm not going to print them. I want us to print their own or whatever. But they, <laughs> it does kind of get the point across. And I kind of, I need a visual sometimes if I've been drinking to remember what I'm playing <laughs> against or something. Sure. So. Yeah. Um, blessing of virtue gives you ten white cards. Now this is the big one, man. I'm not touching this freaking thing. You can only play a land if your opponent has more land than you do. Yes. And uh, this will come up here in a second. I'm gonna. Uh, there's a there's a potential lock deck if you're playing Blessing of Virtue. But uh, I mean, obviously, White has great cards. You get balance and land tax and all that. And Wrath yeah, of God is so sword. strong. Swords, the plowshares, dude. Swords, yeah. yeah swords. It's gross. Yeah. yeah. It's a rough one. And you can play land tax because you're it's always gonna be open, right? <laughs> You'll always yeah. be land tax. It literally yeah. has the built-in land tax in yeah. I thought Tron I thought would be that. cool this way if you like I mean it's still a reach, but you know. If you went like green, white, ramp, if you just played all one drops like Savannah Lions, Script yep. Sprites. Is that okay? Like, you, I only need one fucking land. But you play Blessing of Virtue in every one drop. Swords to Plowshares. And... Land of War. Yeah, Land of Worlds. I don't even know if you need to play Land of Worlds because you don't really need to ramp. Yeah. <laughs> right? so like, yeah. But one and two drops, baby. And then just yeah. go Blessing of Virtue. Naps Asp. Um, yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of good... Um, Haven deck. Scavenger yeah. Folk, just in case you run into somebody with some artifacts. You know, you never know. Oh, folks, like the best green card for sure. I love that card. Yeah, definitely. I, I don't know. Blessing of Virtue is cool. Yeah. It's cool. I did. I also like this art. It was kind of. Yeah. Kinda, I don't cool. know what the hell's going on there, but I dig it. He's like burning incense and like smoking a little on the side. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's like he's sexy. Smoking a little while he's enjoying the sexy incense. Sexy Bacchus yeah. trying to fucking chill. <laughs> uh, this is my favorite art, personally. <laughs> Blessing of Water, yes. You get uh, 10 blue cards in your deck. And just a small drawback, whenever you cast a spell or roll a d6 on one, that spell is countered. <laughs> so I'm going to try to make a big-ass d6 for me with a big fuck you for the one, because I'm going to ro be rolling that all day long. I'm, every I, spell, I, I, dude. You every don't spell. Don't be too fucking big. Every spell, dude. Every yeah. spell. Yeah, it's oh, a lot of rolling. That's a you lot got like a 15%, 20% chance of just not. What, what's the best blue cards to play? Like, what, what is it? How is it worth it? You get to play this cool frog card. I mean, you get to lay him out there. <laughs> I, I mean, ancestral recall, but like, oh, fuck, it's countered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> That's totally what's going to gonna happen. Fine. Every time I cast the blue spell, it's going to yeah. get countered. I mean, the card, card draw is nice. It would be cool to. I mean, it would be cool to play side blast. Yeah. Just because a little bit. I got a whole combo strategy, so I'll talk about it later. I don't want to. Uh, so my... you're so you're I'm, blessing I'm, of water, huh? Yeah, I'm I'm going with blessing of water combo. Okay. And uh, heck, I can. I mean, how often does a one come up? <laughs> no. I, yeah. I, yeah, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Yes, that's pretty rare. You gotta keep uh, track. You gotta keep track. I'll I'll write it on the big ass ugly dice when I do it. That seems like a good idea. I'm gonna add, gonna I'm gonna write on your copy and and take a shot. <laughs> oh God! No 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 no! Because I know I'm, I'm I may never cast a spell the entire day with my luck. Like dude, it's this is just proven that I'm gonna I'm just gonna tempt my own destiny here. If I cast four spells in the entire day that aren't countered, I'll be impressed. Yeah, you're insane. All right, so uh, Blessing of Wood is uh, Wood Elemental has a reduced CMC of zero, and your deck can have any number of Wood Elementals. Does that make Wood Elemental good yet? No. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. So this is yeah. what I was... With a CMC of zero. <laughs> so are we... these are two out of three games, right? Yeah, so we're playing two out of three. Oh, okay. So, I don't know. You, 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 so, so, anyhow, if you ran, all right, let's say, so here's your deck is no one has this. That's why it's, and we're not doing proxy, but if you had uh, 40 wood elementals and 60 forest, and your opponent is playing the white one, 
Yeah. So turn one, you play a forest, you sack it. They can't play a land. You got a one one. <laughs> yeah. And you win the game. Done. You win uh, the game. Uh, <laughs> but so you're but playing, you have to one. be the guy with like 40 wood opening. elementals. No, you just need one wood elemental in your opener. Just small looking until you get it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. So I mean you, uh, you yeah. could, you know. You, you, yeah, I thought about it, but it only works if they're playing the white one. If they're not, you get the yeah. world's worst deck. <laughs> yeah, you gotta just get, you know, you, steamrolled. You could play this with Blessing of Water and Land Equilibrium. Kind of cool. Blowing up your own lands for this Blowing shit. up your own land and keeping it, yeah. But like I'm I say, if, if they're on the white one and that's all your, that's your only creature is like 20 wood elementals. It's it's a potential just lock. You're just screwed. You just I'm playing I'm playing a pretty big stack of wood elementals. I mean, if you got like boxes not, not and stuff, elementals. maybe you get around well, it. I might but... have I might have a, a a stack of them for sure. You playing all wood elementals and slugs? Is that? I'm dude. Ah oh, man, I just I guess I'll just tell you I don't really care. My deck is like a play set of like everything in old school. It's green, and then like plus sixty slugs. And like ten wood elementals. That's awesome. So my deck is like six hundred cards. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's like a playset of everything that I have. This in black border and old school. That's well, wood elementals amazing. come down in price. I didn't realize it is down to like I saw like twenty yeah. bucks or something like that. You right? can get it for was... thirteen bucks. Yeah. No. Really? Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, because they were like almost a hundred bucks at one point. Yeah, there was one for thirteen bucks the other day. I might have ordered a couple of them. I don't know, but. Yeah, dude, I, I think it's cool. I think that this is uh, super cool. Yeah, there's one for 12 bucks, dude. Yeah, so if you're up against the man on the white one, you can just drop. You just need one in your opening hand. That's it. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I'm, I'm going to lose a lot, but I think I can probably beat. Uh, yeah, I can beat anyone on the white deck when, when I'm playing all these blessings of wood. <laughs> the blessing of wood. Yeah, I'm getting wood just hearing about it, dude. This is good. Yeah, it's a, it's a, this is exciting. Like little group, dude. Uh, all right, so we're out of the, the colored uh, ones. Oh, yeah, I guess we already were on that one. But, yeah, so guys howl. Uh, each player draws one additional card. So hopefully you and your opponent have this, and everyone draws three cards a turn, which will really help with those big-ass decks to get to what you need to do. I mean... Yeah. I'm I'm planning on playing Howl because I just want to draw a lot of cards. And you know what's good with Howl? It's fucking Stormseeker. Storm the Stormseeker. <laughs> <laughs> also good with uh, this one where you get eight cards, wherever that is. So Stormseeker's good. And um, yeah. Underworld Dreams, if you could figure that out. You could jam oh, Underworld Dreams and hope that yeah. everybody's playing Howl. Three, wow. Triple black, though. Like You need triple black. I mean, Dark, dark Ritual. Four and... Dark Ritual. Four underworld dreams. Then you have a uh, tutor. Elves of deep shadow. It's yeah, I got elves of deep shadow. Yeah, you got, you got a though. demonic tutor. Dude, that's you know Dude, that sounds pretty scary. good. That's pretty good. Um, Dude. I kind of I've been dying to play a Titania song deck for a while, and I feel like oh, this is the card. this is the opportunity. But uh, I feel like. You know, I just want to go mono green. So, like, I'm trying to figure out how to mono green Titania Song in some go sort of. Green, dude. Go... Yeah. yeah. The colors. I'm so yeah. anti colors at the Battle of Concordia Crossroads. Yeah, I just want to play green. I mean, I, you know, I rarely play mono green. I do have a Stompy deck that I, is like my only almost all black border deck. So, like, nice. I love it. But I feel like. I'll play. A, I bought a bunch of revised cards so I could fucking put them in. <laughs> what do you think, yeah. guys? What do you think in a mono green format? What do you guys think like the best deck is? Well, probably like a David for the Bard deck, like the land destruction. I mean that that puts up results. You yeah, know, he's just running uh, land destruction and like low to the ground, real low curve, ice storms and stuff like that. I mean he. he he top eights all kinds of stuff. I mean, he might have yeah. won a few major events even. I feel like Stompy is like a good deck, but not really in mono green, not against other mono green decks because you just get towered over really quick. It seems like it's just a race to see who can who can out ramp each other usually. If you got fucking 
Yeah, is I don't know if Dave Fritz Bard's deck's that good if there's a bunch of spitting slugs in the meta. Like, doesn't his deck just die to like maybe not? Time? Yeah, no, what, what are you thinking? Well, what is the best? I think the best this? deck is fairies because everything is flying. It's so fun. oh, yeah, flying is yeah, that's Dude, a good the fairies and homelands are so gross. I think that that's like gotta be the best deck, especially if okay, if, you, if you're playing guy as hell and I'm playing guy as hell, we're gonna draw three cards a turn. And I'm gonna play like a thirty, maybe I don't. I mean, you're gonna play four berserk and four giant gross. You're gonna play a thirty-two card, maybe less since you're drawing. Dude, how many forests can you play in a low to the ground deck if you're playing guy as how? Can you play a deck with like fourteen forest? I mean, how big your deck? Can. How many other yeah. blessings you got? If I you mean, just play, okay, let's say I'm building the best deck, and my one blessing is guy as how. So I build a, a sixty, 60 card and with fourteen forest. And if your curve is low, yeah, for sure. Dude, that's scary as shit. Yeah. That deck is so consistent. But so what do you do? Play. What do you do if somebody, if you got two Gaius Howls out and somebody lays down a Black Vice turn one? You know, like you're like, yeah. fuck. Yeah, Black Vice is super good at this format, isn't it? Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, you should be in that deck playing four scavenging folk, right? A bunch of little Pendlehaven creatures. But yeah. I'll yeah. Be- it's still good, yeah. Mm-hmm. You could get burned really fast. Uh, yeah, I mean, like all you guys said, it was it's probably like aggro. It was like the very best, but yeah, the guy is house crazy because if both you and me have it, we draw three a turn. That's yeah. wild, nuts, dude. Yeah, pretty good. It's wild. Yeah. That's my, I'm, that's my emblem, I think. I'm going to try to build it. But, you know, it, it could get turned off if you're running the five colors and you get prismatic. You could turn it off, too. I don't know. Yeah. Is that is that not considered a drawback? I, I guess that's not a drawback, is yeah, it? Yeah, so you just, the drawback are the five-colored ones. It's just the five-color, okay. But, dude, this is like, I don't know. That's the whole format. That could be format warping is like, all right, I'm building around the how pretty fucking crazy i feel like that's my head that's where my head's been I don't know. For three days i've i've been like testing decks around howl and trying to figure out what what i want to know the right mana mana amount can you get away with fucking can you build a deck that plays 10 forest yeah and all one drops some pendle havens and shit i mean yeah pendle haven for sure but i want like i want fucking uh i want maze of it period mm-hmm. Yeah, Maze of It is insane in this format for sure. Yeah. So like that's four. You think it would be, but last year there were a lot of Turbo Fog decks, and Maze of It was a known shit. Really? Yeah, yeah I, don't know. I don't know if there'll be as many fogs this time around, just because the decks are bigger. I guess I don't know. You still could. But dude, Gaius yeah. How with Turbo Fog is really fucking good. More yeah, true. Fog, yeah. Man. Yeah, we're gonna be a bunch of freaking spore cloud event again. I mean, that is the woods. I've never, if anyone's gonna do it, I did it last year. It, I didn't actually, I had like a ton of fun, but dude, that shit, I would have had way more fun if I was playing like Force of Nature or something. Yeah, oh, man, it was rough. Man, I want to buy all these wood elementals on TCG, they're all near mint for some reason because no one's ever played the card. Yeah. Build the wood elemental deck, dude. And then and then you've got your new office that's like wood themed. So like wallpaper your house with wood elements. Yeah, just a whole oh, sheet man. of wood elementals. <laughs> I'm telling you, at one point I might have paid like 90 bucks for a wood elemental to finish because we did that wood elemental event. Yeah, uh, I think I had to pay. That we did I was who could build the best wood elemental deck. And you so, had to win with wood elemental and uh <laughs> What it, what it came down to was like we just it was like a deck mirror and like your win condition was like the two wood elementals that we each had or whatever. Yeah, it was it was not a good the format. The best control deck with one forest and wood, wood one wood elemental in it. Yeah. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> <with the one. laughs> but yeah, I can't believe the price of these, man. Card is unplayable though. I've tried. All right. Um yeah. it's a, it's a guy's bad. oppression. This one's pretty interesting. And I even uh, yeah, I questioned at one point. I was like, "Should this be a May ability?" But if your opponent plays a non-green card, you draw a card and then you lose a life, and you don't have an option. So, if they're on the prismatic plan and they're running, 
40 non-green cards in their deck, you're going to eat a lot of life. <laughs> so yeah. you better hope those cards you're drawing are gaining your life. Really so good. If you, imagine if you play Black Vice, and then that makes your opponent draw a card and lose a life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, this is so it's so I'm yeah. not touching this thing. I don't think I can bring myself to play it. The lore of this is so in like old Dungeons and Dragons books, if an elf were to touch metal, it would burn them. Yeah. So elves own they hated like technology. So it should this should say if an opponent plays an artifact. It's a it's it's just fucked up where it's just not green. It should be if your opponent plays an artifact, you draw a life and you draw a card and lose a life. Yeah, we fucked up yeah. on this typo. Yeah, um, too late. That's the rule. Stormseeker so. and fucking black vice. But I mean, if you're playing some life gain, you get some stream of life, you get some swords, you got yeah. diamond valleys. I mean, you're gonna be just powering through all kinds of stuff. I mean, you might draw a ton of cards. But be ready for that one damage every time. <laughs> like you say, it's gonna be a freaking black vice, lose a life, and then you're gonna take nine. What if what if your opponent is playing black vice, storm seeker, and then howling mines as well? Howling mines, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you this just is, like this is my deck, by the way. I'm just telling you what my deck is. <laughs> Dude, splash red. Well, if you play an artifact, either. you mill 10 cards. Yeah. If someone has guys stone out, so that you know it doesn't take too many of those, and uh, it depends on how big your deck is. So yeah. you know, but if, if that's your plan, you better plan on a pretty decent sized deck. Yeah, if you're gonna go low to the ground and do sixty. You play five cards, you're out. You you decked yourself. Yeah. If you can stabilize and you turn it off at like five artifacts, like if you get. Well, four artifacts, because you're probably drawing three cards per turn. You gotta kill somebody pretty quick. But if you're doing if you're doing seven damage a turn with if you can pull out stu- two storm seekers and like you got one or two vices down. Yeah. You're doing pretty, you're doing pretty storm good. Storm Seeker is gonna be strong, I think. It's that's a good call. And it's just a sick ass card. I got a few of those for the I uh, stuck those in the draft too. Some storm seekers came in. Oh, cool! Love that was that. one of the coolest decks I ever played against. Eternal Weekend was a storm seeker burn deck that played like Drop of Honey. Oh was, yeah, like, yeah. Because yeah, you and I were kind of talking about just a straight burn in this format is pretty good. I mean, what, yeah. You know, Sonic blast, lightning bolts, chain lightnings. Well, I don't know if you want to run the blue, you're gonna be countering all your shit, but <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so just r- red green. Yeah, red. Well, that's why the red green one is so harsh because yeah, red green is like the best color combo, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm mostly worried about just berserk in, in a, you know, you berserk anything or like a giant growth and berserk to super normal green stompy shit like that'll. Yeah. That's why I don't want to play black because I feel like I could. Yeah, in one turn you get twelve damage done to me. Yeah, it's good. It's good with Maze of Ith, right, to counter the Berserk. But also, if you play Maze of Ith, you can Berserk their creature in Maze of Ith. So it's kind of like a cool little. Oh movie. yeah, cool. Oh. Yeah, and Berserk into a Swords. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good call. The coolest one ever. Yeah, this is a good call. I think this was might have been yours, Eric. I don't know, but uh, yeah, your deck so can good. have any number of spinning slugs. That's me right there, dude. I'm playing. Uh, uh, trust me, don't play anything that can't attack over a four defense because I'm bringing in the fucking slugs. Yeah. TCG player is empty. I bought them all, dude. <laughs> I'm playing so many fucking <laughs> yes, slugs. There's a run on them. They're up to like 84 cents a piece now. That's right, the dude. Crap. I fucking bought so many spitting slugs. I don't know why, dude. I don't even. It was. I literally thought in my head what well, would be a funny card, and I just. Yeah. Spitting slugs. That's great. I had like 20 of them in my cart the other day, and I was like, ah, fuck, am I going to? Well, let me just show you real quick. Look, uh, look here. Boom. Up, up, up. That's all you, dude. <laughs> That's all you guys right there, man. It's <laughs> spiking. There's a spike going on right now on Spitting Slug. Yeah, yep. that's funny as fuck. That's literally me right there. So. That's you right there. Is, uh, somebody's yeah. buying them out because I went and bought a bunch of them, too. Um, yeah, dude. I mean, so the two four is like super cool against like every other green card. Like a two four, fuck your elvish archers, your whirling dervish, fuck it, everything gets shut off with a spitting slug. 
Yeah. So it's kind of like the best fucking green creature ever. It'd have been cool to have like a blessing that gives death touch to everything, just so you could just make your spitting yeah. slugs just untouchable. Actually, but, yeah. flying would be a lot better, but yeah. Well, no, you yeah, have first strike though. First strike death touch is such oh, a nuisance. Shit. Yeah, because oh, you just crazy. you kill anything. You yeah, force of nature. Screw you. You've been slugged. Yeah. So you could put yeah. venom on a could you could do venom. Damn, I'm gonna. Yeah, you could do venom on. Yeah, you could throw venom in your in your 60s spinning slug deck. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, dude. Uh, my deck is getting so big, it's crazy. So, That's great. Yeah, dude. I I don't know. I just spinning. I, there's no reason to why we said that uh, spinning slug. So, ah, oh, just block it becomes. Block End of combat. Yeah. Damn man. it, dude. That would have been perfect. Spinning slug. Yeah. That would have been actually a cool like old school deck, even like first strike venom. Fuck. Well, I was gonna run uh a spinning slug Jock Levert with like a crazy defense, but I can't play Jock Levert. Web it's... is web is the best card to put in spinning slug, and it's actually a pretty good sideboard card if you play like mono green in like real events. Because like then you have a two six that can block fucking Saren Dibs, it can block Sarah Angel, it can it literally stops everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, two mm -hmm. six, yeah, that can block flying. That's pretty good. Yeah. When you put web on a slug, you're set. Yeah. <laughs> That's sick. But slugs, they they like beer, don't they? And they get stuck in beer as they trap they them. They kill themselves, yeah, with it. Yeah. yeah. Freaking alcoholics. All all alcoholics are reincarnated as slugs. <laughs> uh, I think it'd be sick to be a slug. Yeah, that'd be, dude, they are not. All right, uh, guys, Thorns, this was my contribution to stop Jason's deck. Because last last year, last Concordant Crossroad, he wakes up. He's like, I got to be there an hour. Went pulled every Forest Walk creature out of his binder and won the event. I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah no crap. That's a pretty good plan. So, yeah, um, that's a great plan. Yeah. So, anyhow, if a creature with Forest Walk attacks you, that creature's controller takes three damage for each attacking creature. So, that's gonna slow down the forest block, I think. I mean, it's it's pretty bold, um, unless you're on like forest block spirit link or something. But how I many people like are you good... think gonna play this one though? Like, I don't want to. I don't want to put ten more cards in my deck. I guess it's just what I'm having a really hard time getting on. I'm thinking about throwing something else in there. I'm like, I need I need another ten cards. Oh really? <laughs> I'm gonna play the back black one just to because I'm already at like a hundred. I guess you could play more, right? There's no downside to the. Yeah, yeah, I, I've got I got too many things going on in my deck. I'm playing them all, dude. Yeah, I guess why not? Yeah, I'm currently I mean, in like a 125 card deck. So if you play like 60 spitting slug in your deck, it just evens it out. It's like it's like a minus. So if you play a 120 card deck, but then you play 60 spitting slugs, it's like you're playing a 60 card deck. Yeah, that's that's a <laughs> <laughs> Sure, you won't you get draw milled. six spitting slug in one forest. You're like, oh, yeah. damn. But I'm gonna be drawing like two cards minimum a turn. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'll get four. Yeah, I, I think, think that's gonna help four. even these janky decks out, dude. The crate, it's this is the craziest fucking format. Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's pretty fun. Well, I mean, I mean, I, mean, I got to uh, Sean Sullivan, you know, he just did the uh, satanic panic, and that kind of gave me the idea they had a. Uh, an event, I'm, I'm sure you guys heard, but you get like one of the, they had the seven deadly sins, and you, you know, each one had a different effect, and if you got all seven, yeah. you became evil, and you had, that was cool too, I mean, it was like, that kind of gave me the the premise of just having these different things, I mean, I am still on his idea, because he's the freaking master, dude. I, dude, I have such a good idea, though, can we add a rule? Uh, so if you uh, get all the maybe. sins, if you get all the sins, you're evil, Right. Right. Like, if you get all of the blessings from Gaia, you're a hippie. So you should like have to let your opponent go first. If yeah, you play like yeah. more than like five blessings, yeah. like you always have to give your opponent. Yeah, you gotta get something better than that though. Yeah. You start it's, with like 40 life. Damn, you give your opponent 40 life. You're a hippie. You gotta like give them nice. <laughs> Although I've never met a nice hippie. I'm yeah, I mean I um maybe like uh you give them like a shitty grilled cheese, but then you bum like fifteen bucks off of them or something. There you go. There you go. Yeah, hippies are uh, bad people role playing good people, and metalheads are good people <laughs> role playing bad people. 
So I don't know. It, that that could be a fun little fucking twist. It's like, oh, you you've gone too far. Like you are you are now a cultist of Gaia. Like, can you yeah. be, become so blessed? With, well, I saw with the that there was some advantage to running all of them, but I mean that would be a lot, and it's a weird ass deck at that point. Yeah, you um, can't play a fucking like two hundred card deck that then just plays like randomly. At five colors too <laughs> you can't yeah. in one color <laughs> well like, like what if you you know what if there was one more like if you played all of them add 20 cards to your deck and your your land taps for any color mana oh that would be way too good what if you yeah. have a 200 card deck i mean what are you what gonna you play like 100 spitting slugs so it just evens itself out <laughs> slugs are what good if you could tap good, you could tap spitting slug for any color mana oh yeah, damn. spitting slug taps for <laughs> any color yeah. Yeah, spitting slugs of paradise. Spitting slugs get flying and tap for any color of mana. <laughs> no, don't all... get them flying, dude. That's way too dangerous. <laughs> like, you have to run be... all of them. Should we make that yeah. one? Oh, Jesus. No. I, if you get all of them, okay, yeah, yeah, sure. If you if you play all blessings, wood elemental and spitting slugs have birds of paradise. Yeah. You can't give them flying though. Fuck. Birds of paradise. <laughs> Yeah, you'd have to just let them stay grounded, but tap for any mana. So you could play all of the blessings that are the colors, but you don't have to play the colors. It says you can play up to 10 white cards, but you don't have to play any white cards. So you could stay mono green if you wanted. Damn, yeah. Spitting slugs taps for mana is fucking crazy. Yeah, that would be, I'd put them slugs back in my cart. Guy is tie-dye, dude. Fucking yeah, guy. Guy's bitch. <laughs> guy is bitch. Guy is bitch. Yeah. yeah. Guy is Yoni Crystal or something. I don't know. Guy is Brainwash. I don't know what it was the dude <laughs> that uh, Guy is Kool Aid, dude. You just fucking have gone completely mad. Yeah, Guy is Kool Aid. Dude, spitting slug tapping for man is actually pretty insane. Yeah, but again, you're hard. talking like you're in a 180 card deck. I mean, yeah, I mean, it would be a payoff for playing this spitting slug. I mean, not that it's already not sweet to play like a shit ton of spitting slugs, but you're gonna like pack your deck out and you really want to promote a mono green, like or or uh, you know, people to play the blessings that that'd be a way to do it. We should have definitely not called it a prismatic master and called it the tie dye master. <laughs> Man, yeah. this I don't know. It's a crazy theory. I think spinning slug is already like kind of fucking good, and making it much better might be a mistake, dude. There's like a wily wolf and a spinning slug is stopping Urnum, dude. That shit's crazy. Like, mm. like yeah, you're right. It's it's such a fucking bad card. Like it's such yeah. a goofy looking card, but it's actually so good when you're playing against every other green card. We might not want to make green the spinning slug is too powerful. A spinning I, slug I, I, yeah. can stop literally like anything. Not force nature. I play uh I play spinning slug and stompy, but like I feel like I so rare I either like win the game with Pendlehaven pumped up one ones or like just die before i can even get a spinning slug <laughs> but i really like i usually like, i usually play spinning slug in in mono green i, I think it's a good card i think it's yeah it's a badass card i think yeah, there's some tricks you can do with maze of Ith with it right how does that work so when if your opponent like activates the first strike then you can like maze of Ith their creature so it doesn't deal damage oh really yeah so like like after you do damage you maze of Ith there so it doesn't do it back yeah, because they can, like, pay the mana to, like, give the card for a strike. Okay. So it kind of turns off the, like, downside of Spinning Slug. Crazy shit, I don't know. I mean, if you guys, you guys, I'm kind of against maybe making the tie-dye of Gaia. And, <laughs> dude, I think Spinning Slug is going to be too damn good. Although, yeah. I want to do it just to see that TCG graph just fucking blast off. That would be so funny. <laughs> right. Why? <laughs> Why is it? Who's why is there wrong? What's what's the new commander combo? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Dude, there was some new like old school cards that shot up because yeah. Of the oh yeah, that was interesting to see that was uh from the modern horizon stuff, like 
It was random ass cards too, right? It was like some fucked up cards that it's the green and blue card, and it's like you can it's an instant and you can choose to make any card green, Sylvan Paradise, and then there's like Sea King's Blessing. You can choose to make any blue card, any card blue for one blue. Yeah, that, that card just shot up in price because you can like pay one blue and then like draw as many cards as you have creatures with the new commander that came out, I guess. Oh, uh, okay. And I saw in like the new Modern Horizons, they redid like a pretty much like the same exact card as Necropotence. Yeah, so the cards yeah. go up in cost too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a what is that? I saw it too. Necrodominance. Yeah, everybody's playing it in uh in like the mono black legacy deck and shit. Yeah, because there's a card. It's like you can discard a black card. It's like a. Um, it's kind of like a force of will or whatever force of will for black. Yeah. You like discard a black card to gain four life, and then your opponent discards or loses four life. So when yeah. you gain four life, that means you can draw four more cards. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, all right, I'll discard a card, you lose four life, I draw four cards. Yeah, that seems yeah. Uh, it's a bit of fun, actually. It seems like a yeah. kind of okay. Card. Yeah, I mean I'll I would play it. Because it's an old school card, right? You're like, oh shit, necrophones is cool. Yeah, it is. It seems like right. the history of the modern stuff is like they print modern masters and that just becomes the new modern format, right? And that's kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it, you it just play seem... all their cards and that's yeah. it. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't stay up on it very much, but yeah, like it seems like all the big the mythics that they print in the sets just end up being modern staples. They feel to have like a lot more control or like they're definitely like trying to influence the meta of commander in certain ways and i don't know we could maybe that's a different topic damn so you can become guy's bitch is it, is it, <laughs> is it your house dad you're the deciding factor of this shit is this well, I was just saying, you need to be like the the guy's cult <laughs> follower or you just be guy's bitch i don't know man. it's yeah. hard to you could be guy's disciple or like something like that if you did it but i think we just say guy's bitch because it's our group if it was yeah if we mean, were for yeah. of the coast we could discuss it but no it's guy's bitch it's good yeah yeah that's great dude that's awesome Kelly yeah, play, spinning play slugs and well enough tap for one man of any color right i mean that seems How that's bad not that is... crazy Dude, Wood Elemental is so bad with the White Blessing. I mean, it is so <laughs> fucking bad. Like, you, oh, I can't play Land this turn to make Wood Elemental any better. It's so fucking bad. You can't bad. make it bigger. But if anyone wants to do it, the yeah. White Blessing sucks. But you just play I mean, one like, Wood Elemental, right? Like, it doesn't yeah. matter. You don't have to play it. You, you don't have to play it. it. It's just an option. You can have as yeah, many as you want. I'm planning to play one. So I, think, oh, one. I'll be right back. I, I think one might be all right. Yeah. Yeah, just put one in there, right? I mean, it's a cool. It's the artwork is sick as fuck. He's got a bunch of bells hanging from it. Like, what the hell is going on? We didn't finish the other ones actually, so there's still guys. Sign of peace. Uh, you start with eight cards in here, and your maximum hand size is eight. That'll be. I missed that one in the rules. I must have overlooked it because that's kind of cool. Hey, especially for the storm seeker player. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the Black Vice player, and yeah, yeah, that I'm probably gonna play that one. Yeah. And then, yeah, so we talked a little bit about this the Prismatic Master. Yeah. It'll be played if you have the Blessing of Fire, Water, Decay, and Virtue. That's the so randomly choose two drawbacks to get rid of at the beginning of each game. So, I mean, there's almost there's some advantage to that to be in Guy's Bitch is you might. Be able to avoid you know, you'd have this one in there so you yeah. might be able to avoid some of the the drawbacks of of that yeah um depending on your day but you're still going to be countering every every d6 you roll you know that rolls one you're going to counter those i mean unless you get to turn that one off and maybe turn yeah the you can one get off. to turn that one off that'd be sweet but you could have a bad day and they don't turn any of that stuff off and yeah i, mean, I guess if you turn off the black one you get 20 life right that's pretty solid yeah uh, the bl splash and black for twenty life is. Man, I mean, I, I would have played be... that in a second if if the, it wouldn't have been for the life drawback. And I started thinking like, ah, I'm just gonna get fucking crushed out in two turns if I am down five life. 
because I would definitely like my first impulse is like, yeah, I'm going to splash black. I'm going to put tears and demonic tutor and mind twist in there. And I'm going to play elves of deep shadow and I'm going to play basically the deck. I always want to play. <laughs> right. Right. And throw a Daryl or something. You know, yeah. Yeah. Like one or two more cards left over. I want to play uh carrying ants real bad. Um, Cause carrying ants is, thick as fuck and you can just pump the shit out of it and if you're gonna play a ramp deck anyway like yeah the definitely. artifacts are really sketchy so I, I was gonna initially play a lot more artifacts and i realized in a combo deck i'm gonna mill my combo pieces away yeah yeah so yeah. the only combo i got is just one artifact in there yeah uh you're on mute eric probably for reason you, you might have no i um, kid but yeah, kids were just yelling. But I was going to say yeah. that you were probably thinking the same thing as me with Bounty of the Hunt and Triskelion. Yeah, yeah, that's so wow. good, yeah. Dude, that's but, insane. But three counters on Triskelion? Well, I'm, yeah. I'm doing a... Um, oh, shit, what's it called? Field of Dreams is in my... So I can see the oh, top card, yeah. which is yeah. cool. But that's part of the combo. But then... So then there's some artifacts, there's some icy artifacts. You, for like three, you can just, if you can name the top card, you draw it. I'm like, oh man, why wouldn't I play that? That seems cool. Yeah. And there's, um, it's not, this, this might be good in the sp spitting slug deck. What the hell is the thing called? Um, it's an ice age card that, it's an ice age artifact. And you get a counter each time. And your creatures get bigger based on the number of counters that are on it. Uh, what is that thing called? Hang on, it's sitting over here. Let me go pick it up. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, I don't know either. I can probably find out, though. Infinite Hourglass. I think that's what it's called. Oh. Look this up. I'll look this thing up. I've never heard of it. I'm yeah, not familiar yeah. with Ice Age and Alliances, honestly. Yeah, yeah well, I'm not really either. That's the whole other thing we're not even thinking about, is we are not very good at Ice Age and... Yeah. I guess I should look through my Ice Age cards, because I haven't for a while. Yeah, dude, there's some pretty... And Homelands, too, shit. Homelands has got some yeah. actually okay green ones, like uh, gain life equal to number of green creatures in play. So, yeah, so you get... Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, it costs 45 four. cents, but during your upkeep, you put a time counter on it, and then any bigger can play three to remove it. Otherwise, all creatures get plus one for each counter. So if you got a boatload of... Um, actually, it's better with probably this, that... Remember your Spore Token deck or whatever made like oh, a billion yeah. Thalids? Yeah. That'd be kind of a, a good play in that thing. Mm. But it is both players. But in a Fog deck, that's probably really solid. Yeah. That art looks uh, is pretty cool. Yeah, Harold McNeil, kind of the most <laughs> controversial artist of all time. Is he really? Yeah, he's he like a Nazi enthusiast. And, and oh, really? Stuff. But yeah, he's he's like a band artist nowadays. Oh, okay. The artwork does look pretty cool. He had Nether Void, which is sweet. I was going to look up Invoke President, but it's not on here, but yeah. Yeah, it's uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, he's the Invoke yeah. Prejudice yeah. guy or whatever. Yeah. Anyhow, but hey, man. Can't, can't it, it, it is a really cool looking card. Yeah, it's sick as hell. I don't yeah, think I mean, that card is good. I'm sorry. I don't think that card is good at all. I think that card sucks. Living Plains. Uh, Dude, how about freaking Zuran Orb? What the fuck? Zuran Orb. spoke earlier, like... <laughs> Let's definitely be playing scavenging folk because we're talking about infinite hourglass. Like that card fucking Dude, this thing's on a climb. It's gone from 35 cents to 41 cents. Like well, just since we just talked back. about it. Yeah. Let's bring it back to 35 cents because this card sucks. Guys. Dude, look at the year. <laughs> this thing's freaking NVIDIA going to town out here. This card is awful. Hot dude. tech, everyone. Infinite hourglass. No Sell sure. your 401k, buy yep. into this bitch right here. Put it in your goblin EDH deck. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think everyone knows the hot tech in Ice Age as an artifact. And it costs zero and not four. Whatever. <laughs> Dude, Zern Orb sucks. So good at this format. 
Holy shit, it's so fun. I'm running one of these though. Oh, yeah. I'm running one Mystic Remora. Yeah. I wanted more, but I don't really have 10 blue cards. Yeah. What, what else would you play as artifacts? I think the only artifacts I'm playing is Zurin Orb and City in a bottle because there's some really good oh. Arabian Nights cards. Yeah, City in a bottle is smart. Yeah, that would be kind of hard on me. Wily Wolf, Urnum Jin, Desert uh, or Diamond Valley. Take care of the Whirling Dervishes if you want to play black. Elephant Graveyard. Um, elephant, hey, dude, there's dude. Elephant Graveyard's kind of okay in this format. That's what I ran last year. I ran, I ran all eight more, elephants yeah, and the elephant mana. graveyards. There's more mammoths and elephants and shit. Yeah, you get the uh, war mammoth and woolly mammoth. Yeah, and you can regenerate a man. They got trample. Okay. It's got some yeah. snow covered lands. I had to order more snow covered lands. Yeah, so there's also a sundial, right? Is that the oh dude, this card is like everyone should play this card. Just literally cut up. Yeah, board. nature's lore is really a solid addition here. And this gets play. around like this, this oh. gets around the white, right? So like yeah, so they don't have uh, yeah. It does get yeah. you around if someone's you know, you're in the white one. If I'm gonna be guy's bitch, I might need more nature's lure and other stuff to Pretty much yeah. every deck should play like four nature's lure and just play less lands. Hmm. It puts it into play on tap, so it really only costs like one mana to do. Yeah, it costs one mana to get an extra land. It's pretty nice. I mean, they're, they're, yeah, there's probably nice. a Jekyll Hops deck. You think so? Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, Dude, Pyro is fucking so good in this format. If imagine if all your creatures were spitting slugs and you just kept casting pyroplasms. Yeah. Slugs don't die. Who is nasty? Just dude. ten. <laughs> Dude, I... Ice Age. Ice Age oh, is pretty go sick. Up. Go back up right there. Sunstone. Sunstone is super good. Hey, what the hell? The fourth one. Here? Yes, sir, dude. Oh yeah. Oh nice. It's just the uh, run a bunch of snow covered lands. No sacrifice. Yeah, sac yeah. Snow covered land is just like a fog machine, man. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Again, you just have to play like scavenging folk. It's just like not even an option. The artifacts are too strong. You just win the game if you play the card. Oh yeah, and I'm definitely playing Luther Wolf, dude. Of course. So this is cool if you purposely mill yourself when playing an artifact, right? You mill 10 yeah, cards. Yeah, so you play an artifact. Yeah, if you're in an artifact strategy, you got to be running this thing because you're and putting you 10 cards in your graveyard. I, I got one of them puppies. I will be uh, I'll be doing that. This was yeah. this was when I first started playing and like met like an actual Magic player, and he came over and like he had this card. And we're like, dude, what is that thing, man? It's so big. It's so out of control. <laughs> it's cool as hell. Do you, how I mean, game. Gaia's Liege is going to be pretty strong, I guess. This season, yeah. I mean, it's a good late game option. Um, I like these gorillas that are a nice age. I think they're a nice age. Gaia's Liege know. is also just really good because you can get rid of uh, like Maze of Ith. Maze of Ith is a bitch. The elf is good, right? A three, a three mana one one that taps for two. Yeah, he's yeah, he's pretty decent. Yeah. I'm not playing anything that costs three, though, because I'm playing, like, 60 spitting slugs. So if it costs three, the three slot is filled. But <laughs> I'd much yeah, rather Pinehorn Elder, three. he's pretty cool, man. He costs three, and he ramps you right into five. So yeah. that's that's uh, a solid yeah. addition. Uh, okay. Really, yeah, I think man. a really key card, if you want to go big with Force of Nature, is, like, because the triple four green is nasty. Yeah. You're up deep. Yeah. You could probably literally just run mono spiders and do all right in this. No, because yeah. the red green spider isn't allowed and it's super good. Oh, uh, you're right. Look for trap the door game. spider. Yeah, trap door spider is not allowed. And then storm is not allowed. Yeah, Stormbind also not allowed, which is good because Stormbind's busted in. That's a really strong card in all the Ice Age Alliances formats. So I, I do like this. Actually, Scale Worm is not bad. Well, it's Freaking... not as big because we did ban Eureka. We didn't mention that, but it, yeah, it, it just it's like a thing that's just not really fun. So we ban Eureka. Uh, I think that the Howling Mind thing with Eureka seemed a little too busted. So 
Yeah, eight cards you draw in an extra one or two, <laughs> and then you're just gonna eureka that shit out there. Yeah. yeah. Originally, yeah. we had one that was fast bond. So I don't know if uh, you you didn't probably know that wrong, but like yeah. we were texting ideas, and we were pretty dead set that we would just have you know a blessing of fast bond. Those infinite hourglass like, six cents. Come on. Pay a life to uh put a lane into play, and I'm like, dude, we gotta ban Eureka, man. Yeah. Just eureka. What's Wendigo do? He's good too, right? Get six counters on him during your upkeep. Put a plus one counter if it was blocked or has been blocked. Otherwise, remove it. Okay, not that great, but okay. Blocked. So if we go back, there is a white card that I was debating. I've always really liked this card. It's Order of the Sacred Tor Torch. So if you were to play this and then like sleight of mind it, because you get merchant scroll. So sleight of mind is a lot better when you have. Um, Merchant scroll because you can search for a blue instant. So then you could change this to destroy target green spell. If uh, you have gone, then you're the witch hunter, dude, and you're fucking crushing. Yeah. Double white. I don't know. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a tough deck, but hey, yeah. Oh, it's out just there. Pack. don't say anything, Dad. Secret tech. I feel like you and me. <laughs> <laughs> we don't always know that. I will just keep scrolling. Play right, scavenging pro, guys. Play scavenging pro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, it might be. A, Dude, might be don't this. don't we play did. scavenging pro. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the only thing I noticed when I was making my deck, I just like, you know, I'm like, I'm playing all the Ice Age stuff. Like, I like the, I love the lure from Ice Age. Oh it's yeah, so, same so, the Ice Age like giant growth and shit. Yeah, yeah I got yeah. Ice Age uh, wild growth. I got Ice Age regenerate. I'm yeah. like, yeah, man, it's like kind of cool to. Yeah, I like the Ice those Age lands a lot. Um, I play all the, I play all the Ice Age lands in my pauper decks and shit. I think they're just awesome. So looking. yeah, this was the other one I thought would be yeah, good I with uh, Field of Dreams. Target player names a card. And then turns over the top card of his or her library if it's the main card put in your hand. Otherwise, it does two damage. So you can, you know, with Field of Dreams, you can just draw a card for three. But I don't know. We're drawing so many cards, it's probably not worth it. Definitely not worth mill and ten. If you're playing Field of Dreams, would you? Or wait, what's the um, what's the combo card with Field of Dreams? The um, the one that flips the card. Or Field of Dreams. Oh, Millstone. Yeah. Yeah. If you're playing a, uh, if you're playing, uh, if you're playing Millstone, do you have to? Flip the card back around, or wait. Feel the dreams is where you flip it upside. You flip it right yeah, side. Feel the dreams. You're just looking at the top card. Do you have to flip I it? I don't know back? if you could like make your opponent name it and then mill them. That'd be kind of funny. I think you could do that and stack those triggers. That'd be oh, annoying. Crazy. Like, all right, name name a card. You're gonna draw it or take two, and then like they name the top card. And you mill it. And if they name something they think it's gonna be, you just don't do anything, and they just take two. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty kinda like a It's kind of like a cursed scroll type deal. I like Yagma Nats. Nats. Dude, dude. They're pretty good. Cards are super good. It's fucking a uh, Will O' Wisp. It's Will O' Wisp. It costs three though. I mean, I wish yeah. it cost one like Black did, but dude, yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> Nats. Dude, that's so good. Well, here, Nats. go back, write it back up real quick. Uh, oh, page hang on. There's a there's a card that it's a uh, got the bowls running over shit. Um, stampede is what it's called. A little bit further up. Oh, never mind. That just got another bowl on it. Damn, never mind. But uh, yeah. What was the deal with these things? We used to play these, right? You get plus one for each other. Um, oh, we should have let that be any number. That should be any number. Yeah, that that'd have been kind of cool deck just to run yeah. forty of those things. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. and they have trample. So yeah. Just, but I there's a card with it. another bowl on it called uh, Stampede, and then all all your creatures get plus one and trample. That card, I think, is kind of good. They got oh, dude, infinite, it's infinite like Arox. Next year should be uh, as many Arox as you want. Could, could we make a format where we ban like a bowl of stuff, and then there's no limit to anything else? So you just run. That would be cool. 20 or 30 or something just pick the insane shit that you know is bad and then let everything else go to town and see what people do yeah the heavy band list. brown oof you have to ban like everything with banding right isn't like kind of busting i don't know it, 40 i can't think of it it might be an alliances 
because there's we still have alliances and homelands actually seriously uh, yeah homelands yeah homelands has some stuff too oh this is a lot of thinking of. this is an alliances card but he's pretty yeah. good he's not yeah. as good as four though he fights stuff right yeah he does you have to sack a uh Forest. If you sacrifice a snow-covered forest, he gains trample on the end of the turn, uh. and then you could tap him to fight something. He's a seven-seven trampler. I mean, I don't know. Force nature is probably better. Maybe I don't know. The fighting ability is pretty badass, though. Yeah, that is cool. Is a uh, dude. I mean, what other pump spells are there? Like wily wolf and giant growth, because tracker is like pretty insane when you know you're going up against a lot of other creatures like the fighting ability like if you just built a deck that was just like four trackers that makes no sense a thousand dollars for a fucking ice age box yeah that shit yeah. Better than David down. why would you buy that you draft that thing man i was looking at only a thousand dollars to draft an ice age box let's go but there's nothing in there yeah, you're not gonna open anything. You need an infinite anything. hourglass. Man, this is forty five cents right now. <laughs> Miss <laughs> what Mystic Remora is like the the priceless yeah. card in the. Uh, let's, let's go with the uh, price high to low. I say age top card. I think he's right. Uh, Necropotence. Yes. Oh, Necropotence. Sulfur yeah. Springs. Oh yeah, Sulfur Springs. Yeah. Hey, there's some all right. Consultation. Yeah. Okay. Dance of the Dead. The Dual Lands. So Jester's Cap, I ran that last year. It's actually pretty good. I was trying to figure out if there's an Illusion of Grandeur deck in this thing, too. I don't know. How do you give somebody... Does um, Enchantment Alteration <laughs> work with Illusions of Grandeur? Yeah, you could... could you, you Well, you could do a... What's the stupid chaos? Um, yeah, Gauntlets of Chaos or... You know, yeah, Gauntlets of Chaos, I guess, would do it, right? So do... So you like do... It might just be creature, land, or artifact. Yeah, you're right. Because that's, it might be. I don't actually know. Oh, shit. Hang on. I hit the wrong one. Oh, they made a god. Dang, they made more gauntlets. Interesting. They made everything. They're, they're out of ideas. So, are we playing sideboard with this format? I forgot nah. to ask that. Nah, we ain't got time for that shit. Okay. Cool. I think we, we said we weren't going to, and, it, and then we forgot to put in the rules. So, I think you can probably play with the sideboard. It's um, not in the rules. Yeah. And yeah, so does this say art enchantment on it? The control of target land creature artifact. Yeah, dang. That'd be I'm nice. Not you give that dude. Uh, just... No one's gonna play this though. I mean the decks to be afraid of, I think, are like the fucking aggro and aggro and fall, right? Like is there any other deck? If there is, like play artifact hate to destroy it, I don't know. Yeah, man, I thought about someone like they could run a shops deck, but you can't, man. You're, you'll just deck yourself. You'll yeah. be yeah. Some people, not everybody. Yeah, I mean, if you're playing the if you're playing the playing artifact mill emblem, then yeah, you're kind of fucked. I mean, I'm that's I'm playing a lot of artifacts. <laughs> eight people showed up. We probably I don't know. There's some dudes from Columbus coming. There might be more than eight. Yeah, like I know 10... Ben's coming. I'm not sure who else is. Apparently. Yeah, if, if like more people showed up and you had to play like four rounds and like out of those four rounds, one person had it, you could still win the event. It's like, oh, I lost because of one, one lost one game. You could still win. Yeah. Yeah, you could also just every round someone makes you nail every card you cast. Yeah. I think, you know, what a, I mean, you said you're playing a ton of artifacts. Yeah. Yeah, shit. I don't know, man. <laughs> I the only artifact. I mean, if you're on the Black Vice plan, that's pretty solid. And then, like, other yeah. than that, if you're in a war. Um, so I'm playing. I'm playing basically like, uh, Black Vice, Howling Mine, um, Storm Seeker, but also Titanius Rings, Mono Green. Yeah. So ramping into Aladdin's Rings, and then Titanius Songing in for oh, the kill. Oh, yeah. that's cool, man. I yeah, it's a, dude, song is super cool. I've built decks that don't even play artifacts and then just play song to like destroy moxes and shit. Oh, like, yeah, that, yeah, well, dude, I, the song is super good. Yeah, I like Xenic Poltergeist for that, where you're just like tapping yeah. to kill, <laughs> kill fucking yes. moxes. I'm curious, that'd be cool because so, like, sometimes I'll be playing against song decks and then they won't even cast song 
because I play Icy Manipulator a lot, and I'll play, like, Tome and shit, and they're like, yeah. well, I didn't cast Song because you had a fucking Tome and an Icy out, so you had, like, two fours. Yeah. But, like, and... if people aren't playing those cards in this format, Song yeah. might be even better. Yeah, if I if if I'm playing against any, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I really want to play this. I really want to play this uh, deck, but like, I'm like, ah, I'm gonna play against somebody with the fucking artifact mill thing, and I'm gonna be like down to dude. eight cards on turn four. <laughs> Song is on theme, dude, with the fucking Gaius hippies theme, dude. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> the girl with the guitar and shit. It looks perfect. Yeah. Guy is but, jammed, I dude. mean, oh, it's, yeah. it's risky, but I think you get a vice. I was, I was like play testing some shit, and if you get a vice out with that guy's howl, turn one, you can just sit for a minute. <laughs> you know? Yeah, the guy is a howl. It's an awful idea. Yeah, we should have put May abilities on a lot more of these. Um, yeah. Well, what if you were allowed to play more than one copy of all these things? Damn, that'd be hilarious. Just, yeah. I'm just gonna run like six copies of guys howl <laughs> yeah damn that's <laughs> fucking crazy because then you want to like draw black vice like ever but yeah well, yeah. yeah shit i know that's like, the thing is like having a black vice turn one is pretty clutch but also it's a good late game thing because i mean you yeah. can't everybody's playing like you yeah, know you have got like stuff. eight cards to start they're gonna be drawn two three turn i mean it's yeah, vice is a major problem. I feel yeah. like that's gonna be how I die most of the time. Yeah, I'll try to get rid of the thing and it's gonna counter my spell. But it, okay, like you say <laughs> that, but like there's also okay. So is there any cards in Ice Age? I know there's Brown Oof, which will counter the activation of an artifact. Yeah, we have Crumble and we have Scavenging Folk. So there's eight cards. You'll yeah. probably play four main, four side. So yeah. what else can you play? I know I always play Brown Oof against yeah. uh, Nevenerals Disc. I did that last yeah. year. And then they like couldn't activate Disc. And yeah, I got some Discs in, in my deck too just because I need removal. Yeah, there's not a ton of removal. There's like, but that doesn't, that's an activated artifact. I know, right? I'm just saying, like, what other artifact hate is there though? I mean, you could run Desert Twister and just get rid of whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, I mean, Desert there. Twister's probably good. I mean, why not run four? <laughs> you know? That's, that's, what, that's why I'm out of car. That's why I, I think I'm going to have to be yeah. guys, bitch, just because all the stuff I want to put in my deck. Yeah, yeah, I know. It is hard. I mean, I've, dude, I've built on, I've like virtually built nine decks in the past three days. Like, seriously, <laughs> that's all. I, that's all dude, I, I have. I have so many cool green cards. I've been collecting altered green cards and like signed shit for so long. I want to build like the craziest big. Oh deck. yeah. Oh, speaking of altars, uh, that that card you got your dad for Father's Day was pretty sweet. Oh, thanks. Yeah, dude, for sure. The dude, that, that dude so did cool. my altars. I really like that, like cartoonish style. Yeah. I want to see the Father's Day deck come together, like the all dads all the time. All dads all the time. Somewhere, yeah, I don't know why I'm missing my, uh, the first one you got was the, the uh, Shatterstorm. You had Mark Poole sign out of Shatterstorm. It's the oh, Father's cool. Day, like yeah. 2009 or something. It's got a date on it. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. But I play it all the time. It's in a deck somewhere. So I got to. Yeah, I forget. Yeah, that was a while ago, Dan. That's probably, yeah. Shit, that's a long, very old. We were at like Gen Con or something. Yeah, yeah, okay. you like snuck away and got it, got it put on there. It was cool. Yeah, I don't know why. So yeah, the, I got I got my dad altered. If anyone listens to the last few episodes, my dad really likes Axel Rod Gutters. <laughs> so this is the awesome. greatest name ever. I wished my yeah. parents had named me Axel Rod yeah, Gunnarsson. That's a strong. That's a strong name. It's a strong sure. name. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. And there yeah. are some other ones out there, yeah, whatever. But Axel Rod yeah. Gunderson is that's like dude. Chad Sexington, or like, mm -hmm. hell yeah. <laughs> Did your Instagram Rod like so or something? And your last, like, your last ten posts are just fucking awful. Like, we have I mean, thousands of dollars. Yeah, these are these are great. This is this is the world <laughs> we live in, dude. What are you Our magic about? collection looks is like actually insanely valuable and like pimped as fuck, yeah. but. The last like twenty things you posted are just dicks drawn on fucking like just 
Yeah, a fucking I'm not. I'm not following your logic. I don't know. It's... Yeah, it's, I think it's excellent. It's what. Yeah, it's think... what brought me here. <laughs> The this is, this is how we horse. found Rom to begin <laughs> Wait, go with. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to the order of the Evan Hand, dude, because it's so funny. Because Which you one? don't even live here, but you tagged it that you live in Sugar Tit, Kentucky. Yeah, you know, I lived in Sugar Tit. That's there, where I'm dude. at, man. It's, uh, but you it's, drive, it's right up the street. I can, all, I can walk to Sugar Tit, <laughs> all right? <laughs> I mean, I've, I've been walking distance to Sugar Tit. <laughs> okay, but it's still just hilarious. Yeah, I this wish it was on my actual my people. Wish it was on my actual license, but uh, I was trying to find my other Father's Day stuff. I don't know, it's in here <laughs> somewhere. A badass, uh, uh, just vulgar names. I was at the gym today, and Rom texted me. And I just found the of a band called Steel Balls, and dude, they kick yeah, Steel out. Balls, yeah, Steel Balls is good. <laughs> dude, I've never yeah. heard that band name before. Yeah, man, they sound yeah. like like yeah. old school Dio. If you, it's like it's like Dragon Force meets like old Dio type stuff. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like barbarian shit. I was I was yeah. pumped, but like, damn, this is actually good, and the band name is hilarious. yeah. This yes, was the last concordant cross of way the wheel of fortune, and we'd spin it each turn. So you had the options of like uh, this turn, like these cards would be in play, dark heart of the woods, concordant crossroad, hidden passage, or whatever. So we'd spin it each turn and then take a card off of there. And that was a pretty right, cool, cool effect, too. Yeah. There's my girl. It seriously had some impact on the games, though. Like when everything had forest walk and stuff, I got run over. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought about playing that emblem against the forest walk because I feel like that's just the smart. I didn't know that that's what you played last year, Eric, but that's a smart move because, like, yeah, check this shit out. We could have done Jock Levert, Master of Hunt, and Mana Flare. Fuck, fuck you guys. You're just doomed. There's no beating that. That's yeah. the best three card. All right, maybe not. Whatever. Let's try to I didn't, do, I didn't play. It was Jason that did forest walk. I played. Uh... I played Spore Cloud last year. It's, oh. enchant- it's like a you can you can pay three to put a spore counter on something, and then you can then like there's an enchantment that you can like remove a spore cloud to fog for a turn. So it's like an infinite combo if they can't destroy it. Oh, you okay. Lost monster, a better thing in this one too. Yeah. Maybe this would be part of the uh, guy's bitch moss monster also. Also taps for man of any color. So uh, guy, guys, bitch, you have to play ten. You can play all of them. No play one's all gonna of them. do it. <laughs> you might just put something else crazy on there because no one's gonna fucking do it. You start the game. Yeah, it, it's no really suicide. Guys. I mean, yeah, dude, fifteen <laughs> life, fucking stuck behind a land tax. Like it's so bad. Yeah, fifteen. That's right. <laughs> the fifteen so life bad. thing is that's. It's hard for me to want to do that. My old decks right there. The, See, I think this was the, I think this was our first Concordant Crossroad, right? Oh shit! I got last place in that. And some guy spilled a beer on it. It was pretty cool. Still got yeah, that. Yeah, that one. was it then. <laughs> if you scroll up a little bit, that's probably one of my more recent. Uh, that was one of my other maps. Yeah, this, this was it here, man. Look how young Jason looks. Dang. Yeah, he does look real young. That was the yeah. original group. That was our first. Uh, yeah. yeah. Concordant Crossroads. Cool. Come a long way. We're still doing the same shit. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> oh, we got travel soon. We go out of town for an event. And that shit's the most fun. For what? Go yeah, Rob, have you been to? You haven't been to any like actual like real old school events, have you? Like yeah. that shit's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, I want to go to Thrash Bash. It sounds sweet. Yeah, you, you got to go to Thrash Bash with us. Dude, Thrash yeah. Bash was insane. We like. The, yeah, we like tore up a bed and breakfast or whatever, and <laughs> yeah. If you go back That's far true. enough, I start my old shit that was like all the crazy oh, stuff I had back then. Cool. Yeah, been yeah, doing this a long cool. time. Yeah. How? What's the year? Oh, uh, it's like when did I make Sarah Angel? Four hundred and seventy-two weeks ago. Oh. oh, did you make that? Yeah. Oh, Fifteen. That's sweet. Did you use a Dremel? What'd you get in there with? I have a bunch of stuff, carving tools and stuff like yeah. that. I used to make a bunch of deck boxes and things. Oh, that's cool, man. Kind of like cool, to, yeah. I like to carve shit up too. Yeah, I used to do a lot. Of, so this was it. Like I was just like, hey, check me out, collecting uh, 
random Arabian night shit in 2014. Yeah. Like, that was like, I had like a full set of that shit before Dude. old school was a thing. Yeah, complete near mint set in 2014. I didn't even realize I had this. Yeah, I should check this out more often. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, that was a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I made, uh, oh, no, wait, that's not a deck box. Yo, Ron, check out what he made. Dude, he made a fucking antiquities deck box. He's got the antiquities. Oh, that's deck. sick as hell. Yeah, dude. Dude, that, yeah, that one's pretty cool. That. Yeah, he made that right there. There it is. Dude. Yeah, you need to start making shit like that again, Dad. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, we're not. Just, this, this thing was cool. This is a cool one. It's kind of like Dark wired up and stuff. Yeah. Dark yeah, yeah. Well, like warped up, and he still plays the thing. You I, made I, it. I was going to throw it like away. Walnut. He kept it. Sweet. That one was pretty. Yep. Dude, that's nice. Nice little joinery there. Yeah. It's Dan, been a minute, have an Etsy page. What's your Etsy page, Dad? Etsy? I don't have an Etsy page. <laughs> everyone wants your shit, dude. I got I got two businesses, man. I got another, I made this Nicole yeah. Bolas. I carved that. Oh, that was that <laughs> that's that's forever, dude. Nicole, though, is everyone at the card shop would ask, like, what's your Etsy page? And you, you like, refuse to make shit for people. Yeah. Like, the three I just give it away, dude. I mean, yeah, it takes time. I get it. I mean, it takes so long. I can't make it. I'll go to work to make money. I just give yeah. this shit away. Yeah. <laughs> the few fucking people they like to give stuff to, and people would want it so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shoot, oh, man. Yeah, man. That's what. So I'm giving away a, a Sylvan Library for a coolest deck at uh, the Concordant Crossroads. Oh yeah, that's right. And uh, uh, you're good at art. If you want to fucking sign up a forest or something, make it look sweet. Yeah, I can. I could. Uh, I could alter something. We, yeah, we like miss Steven, man. He was our artist. He was so good. He would devote himself and do all kinds of it was so cool having him. I, I hope he comes back someday. But anyhow, yeah, he always did our art stuff for us and been kind of missing that since then. Did he get out of magic or what? Yeah, he kind of got out of magic. I don't know. We'll see if he I, I'm always hopeful he'll return. We'll see. Yeah. I mean it's tough. Uh, All right, well, this is July 5th, so we'll get together. Uh, anyone that's still listening for some reason, you're uh, <laughs> you're, you're welcome to come if you want to drive to Sugar Tip, Kentucky. Uh, yeah. Just Google that up. It's not that far away. Come on down, dude. Come on down uh, to yeah. Sugar Tip. That's what they Mono used to say. Green, be guys yeah. bitch with us. Yeah. You want to be guys bitch and Sugar Tip? This is your chance. <laughs> Next year, we need to do it like a camp out. So people got to like travel with tents and shit. I did think, oh, wow. I mean, I, it is a Friday night. I was, I was going to say people can camp or stay over or whatever. I don't care. Dude, but, I, uh, I've been debating that because I'm like, oh, dude, I got to like drive home. Like, do I just come down and then tell Taylor, like, bring the kids after like five o'clock or something and yeah, go swimming and shit? I don't know. That's sick. I like this deck box made yeah. out of an old coffin. It was cool. Yeah. That's awesome. No coffin, hell yeah. <laughs> that that is. Yeah. Is that the plan, Dad? Is there is there something like if uh if I made plans for afterwards, do are we heading home? Is Jason slamming a bottle of en Angel's Envy and where it's going all night, or how's it? Well, going? Jason just lives up the street, so he's not yeah. a big deal for him. Uh, no, I mean I think it'd be fine. Yeah, I don't care. The, the, this right here, Ron, was my. My best stuff. I took old boxes and made them into deck boxes. Oh yeah. And I gave these away to some like our deck photo contest, but they were pretty cool. So I would get an actual antiquities. Like this was a deck, the dark box. Yeah, the dark. And then I just yeah. did all the woodworking inside. So yeah, I've got a. Um, what do I got? I've got. Yeah, I guess I got a Leg Legends just box, a right? Oh box. yeah, you got a Fallen Empires one. Oh cool. Yeah, open. I like those. But that was kind of like my well, grand achievement. I was, <laughs> I was the most impressed with those. So because they, they turned out really good. Yeah, this yeah, this yeah. one here is mine. This is my Legends box. This is the one I use. Oh uh, yeah, wood burned and Nicole Bolas in the top, and got a Legends booster in there and stuff. So you got the sleeves so, and shit. Nah, I don't know about sleeves, but it's like oh okay. It's got a little life counter dice put all that stuff in there and an original box they turned oh, out kind of cool yeah it's hit or miss if you can get by empty Maybe boxes sometimes they're like Nicole Bolas? that's sick yeah it took a while to do this stuff yeah. but 
uh, for some reason, I started a second business. And I got no time to do any of this shit. So yeah, <laughs> I hear that. Yeah, that's what, right. It's so cool how like creative people are with old school, man. Yeah, that's one of the things that I think is really appealing about it is that it's not no nobody. It's not just about collecting and reselling. It's about like kind of personalizing your collection and shit. Yeah, because it doesn't rotate. Once you get everything, yeah. like, okay, now I got to get everything signed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah. everything yeah. signed and altered. Yeah, it never yeah. happens. Yeah, you got it. And having stamps on stuff or signatures or drawings from Auntie is cool. Also, Auntie is really, that's been one of my favorite things about playing in the um, time walking league is that you don't get to play Auntie anymore, right? Like, we play yeah, a lot I've of that. Ne- so. I had never played. So, Stick around. Once we're done with this league, we'll be into uh, Alpha Alliance's ante. I got a bunch of. I actually had to tap into some of those to get my snow covered forest and uh, yeah. a few of the stuff from my deck. But I got, I've got like seven Alpha Alliance's ante decks, and uh, that is fun, man. It's a good, it's a good format, yeah. honestly. We got some kind of alterations to the rules, but it's good. Yeah. Now I'm really looking forward to it. It's been, it's been fun to just like have some skin in the game, even though you know. The cards are coming from somewhere else. But no, still, it's, it's, it, no, it hurts, man. You hate to like lose. Yeah, good cards. my dad has oh, an ancestral so recall. Bad. He has an ancestral recall on an anti deck, and you fucking <laughs> have it. You, he has this, and you play like Force of Will in that deck too, dude. Anti's harsh. Oh, that dark rit. Uh, that yeah, this cool. this year I gave. I think, I think Mike Franz has this. He he won the. But I, this was one of my better ones too. This was a revised box, the dark written the top and holds two decks. Yeah. I wish <laughs> someone else did it so I could just buy them from someone else and not do it all the time. <laughs> comment sugar tit on there. The very first comment. Yeah, sugar tit, man. <laughs> the first comment. Now, it was named that. I guess there was a. It's the only comment that you liked was someone just commented that shook his head. No, that's <laughs> my. That's where I'm from. Every day, it's the a... only one you fucking oh, that's what... <laughs> yeah, Wow, that's the good one. Sugar tip, buddy. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, dude. Very Fuck your cool. super smiley oh, face, and that's sick. And all the only one I really like is sugar tip. That's right. I know it's very, very cool. Whatever. Sugar tip. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. And whatever. Sugar tip. Yeah, you get it. Yeah. This guy Fuck gets yeah. it. <laughs> Badass. No, there was like a bar here way back in the day, and they said the men's flock to it like a sugar tip. They would all go there. So I don't know what the deal was, but. Nice. Well, shoot, I guess I'm, I've am i been doing the welding and blacksmithing. Maybe I'll make a big-ass, like, crown or something before the event. We got to get some prizes going. Dude, make a storm oh, seeker. Fucking sink it into a... A sword? Oh, shit, the sword on storm Ooh, seeker. Oh, shit. I could make that. Yeah, yeah I, I thought about trying to figure out a way to do that, too. It'd be an awesome trophy for Concordant. I can make it, dude. All right. Yeah. It's, it's on. I'll do it. I yeah. Do cool. Yeah, I mean, it's coming up, though. It's like a week. Yeah, Yeah, it's not a lot of time. I'm still trying to build benches and and shit out there, so. Oh, man, like if, little... you, uh, if you need wood. I would say anything. go ahead and just bring some lawn chairs, maybe, and some bug okay. spray. Uh, bug spray, bro. It's crazy back there. I it's not care. that bad. I mean, but it's uh, it's changed a decent amount, Eric. It's a lot cleaner than it used to be. I have been clearing out more and more. But I was trying to build some stuff. I've got all those freaking twenty foot long poles, those that four inch tubing from work. I still got like six of those. And I was thinking about making a big twenty foot long like super table, but I don't really have anything to put on top of it. Yeah, it's sort of bigger than a complicated sword. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. That's a complicated it's... sword, man. I don't know if you're going to have that built in a week, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's yeah, it, might real... take a, it might take a minute. But you could be working on it. I mean, that'd be cool to have. All right, guys. Well, hey, I think it's time to call it. We, we went over our, our 20 minute uh, pod okay. that we're planning on. <laughs> All right. But uh, as always, they're yeah. rare and super long. But Good to hang with you guys. I'll see you. Uh... See you on July 5th. July 5th, yep. And then probably the following week, we might do, I got a 
bloated date. I know a lot of people were on vacation and stuff, but we need to get get, get together and do some drafting too. So, oh yeah, for um, sure, man. And we we agree that guys bitch is an option, so we're gonna put that on there. Okay, I'll upload Sounds that awesome. before I go to bed. Then all right. Uh, I think we also agreed that nobody would play the uh, the artifact mill uh, emblem at some point. Well, I, I don't recall that part, <laughs> but all right. If uh, if that's the way you remember it, build your deck accordingly. That's fine. Sure. What's the worst all that right. could happen? Good to good to talk to you guys. I'll see you soon. All right. Later, guys. Later.